In November 2018, Bristol City Council led the way as the first UK local authority to declare a climate emergency for their city. A strategy was put in place giving direction for delivering climate resilience and a city which is fair, healthy and sustainable. Donna Bernard went to see how the people of Bristol are coming together to make changes both big and small. Templeton Road, Bristol, contains a hint of how the look and feel of the city could be enhanced in the not-too-distant future. This planter is doing more than you might think. This small patch of ground provides drainage, gives the area more greenery and helps to slow down traffic. It's one of many small interventions across Bristol that helps to improve the city and make it more resistant to climate change. The new climate resilience assessment this year by the One City Partnership and consultants Arup revealed the potential for a number of hazards to increase significantly, including heat waves, floods and higher sea levels. The City Council decided the time is now to step up its efforts to manage the risks. Bristol's One City Climate Strategy is a uh, document that sets out Bristol's ambition to be carbon neutral and climate resilient by 2030. Uh, it brings together stakeholders from across the city. Um, it's based on a robust set of evidence to explore what Bristol needs, both in terms of uh, carbon emissions reduction, but also in terms of climate resilience. Initiatives to improve green spaces are already underway. Many parks are being landscaped for better flood control, including Font Hill Park. And the Future Parks project works with business and communities to enhance the value of green spaces and bring many other benefits. There's multiple different values for green spaces. So there's the health value and the well-being value. And then there's also the sustainable future value and the value for the environment and the local ecological species as well. So there's lots of different values for green space. And the project is very much about improving all of those and making sure that we can retain them for the future. Flood control measures like this are part of the whole city approach Bristol hopes will both enhance the present and mitigate the hazards of the future with maximum local input. The pre-war Arnside Road shopping parade is long past its prime. But here too regeneration is coming as the City Council connects grand strategy with action and delivery. A new project is planned that will incorporate urban quality of life with greening trees and flood control. We're also going to put in eight rainwater pods and they'll be, um, they'll be spread, up, spread about in the streets around here and, and it's um, a rain garden with planting and it will just help when it rains heavily it will help soak up the rain so that all of it doesn't fall on the pavements and run off very quickly. The Malago River is also earmarked for restoration to make it and the environment around it more resilient to climate change but also make it a better space for the local community to enjoy. We're now south of the city in Bedminster Green, an area in line for regeneration that incorporates nature, encourages wildlife and is just a nicer place to be. So the plans here at Bedminster Green alongside the planned regeneration for the area is the City Council will be restoring the River Malago. So where the River Malago flows underground, where we are at the moment, we will be opening the river, exposing it so it's daylighted, as well as doing some improvements upstream and downstream. So it'll be tranquil, there'll be um, improved biodiversity, improved wildlife, and of course improved flood storage. Now all of these issues are those that are, that are challenges faced by the face of the city because of climate change. So Bristol's one city plan, of which climate is now a major part, will bring together all the communities, institutions and organisations. The council stresses that no one has all the answers, but by making coordinated changes like these and others, the city will become more hopeful and aspirational for its future, at the same time as it becomes less vulnerable to climate change.